Hey y'all, it's Nona. And today I'm here with my Do I Still Love It for June 2022. And this is a video where I discuss the products I've used during my Shop My Stash for the month. And I tell you how I feel about them. All the ins out, the good, the bad, the ugly. And uh, so let's just get into it. I'm going to start with the palettes. <clears throat> the first one I pulled is the Glam Light Icy Cherry Palette. And it is gorgeous, super cute packaging. And it is a bunch of reds and then some more pinky shades. Um, hmm. Anyways, um, this is a beautiful palette. Red is not one of my absolute favorite colors to use. I did create a look with it and it was <laughs> super red, <laughs> uh, obviously. Uh, but the shadows perform really beautifully and I really like this palette. The only thing I can say is that this shade here called uh, Colorful Tongue and this one called White Cherry are very, very soft. And when you put your brush into them, it just creates a lot of chunky kick up and it makes divots in them and I, I do not like that. <laughs> I don't like my palettes to look ugly. <laughs> so, but I love Glam Lights Formula. I absolutely do. Um, and I would totally recommend and their packaging is to die for i mean i've i've reviewed uh several glam light palettes you know over time and i've really never had anything bad to say about them the next palette is also by glam light um and it is the hershey kisses milk chocolate with almonds palette isn't this packaging adorable and it opens up here at the top at this little point and it has a little uh color saver that has numbers on it the the names are not listed it's just numbers but this is my favorite color story I bought the entire collection I believe there are five and I absolutely love this color story I just love warm neutrals this shade I don't know it just really called to me <clears throat> excuse me it almost looks black but it's more like a red toned brown I don't know I just really 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 like this palette I like the look I did for it I wore the look to church um and yeah, I really like it. And the packaging is just super duper adorable. So I would recommend for sure. And I always wait for a sale uh, when Glamlight has sales because they have sales quite often and they're usually really, really good sales. Okay, so next I'm gonna talk about the single shadows I used. I used four this month. Um, I told the story as to why there are four in here in my single swag collab I do every month um so I'm not going to talk too much about that but I used a liquid shadow by Kosas and it's in the color strobe and it's right here and mm, I mean it's a it's a bright white with a pink shift but it doesn't shift very much it's it's not it's just not very potent you know um I would expect this to be like super bright, super vibrant, super in, in your face, and it's not. So, I mean, maybe Kosas as a brand is not like that, but I just, I, I would not repurchase this. And then the next one I use, I absolutely loved. It's by Iman, and it's the Perfect Eyeshadow Pencil in Desire. And I won this in a giveaway from my beautiful friend Rosie at Rosie's Fab Finds, and she got this at the Dollar Tree. And here is a swatch of it right there. It's like a coppery um, gold, dark gold color. And I love this as an eyeshadow base. I absolutely do. I used it in several looks like that. And I did a look where I just used it as a single shadow and blended it out pretty much all over my eye. And I really like this. If I found this, again, I would buy a backup. And if I found other shades, I would buy those too. Then the two uh, shade uh, shadows that I pulled for June were the AOA Studio Wonder Baked Eyeshadow in Saffron. And this is it right here. And these are nice. I mean, they're baked shadows. Um, baked shadows are not my favorite formula. Um, but I did, I believe I used this in my crease in a look. And it blended out really nicely. And, uh, I mean, it's a, it's a decent shadow for a dollar. You get these on Shop Missy for one buck. And then the next one I used is by H&M, and it's the shade Over the Moon, and it's a vibrant silver, and this is it right here. Now, this was wonderful. I love this. I absolutely love this 
it's beautiful. Um, I've never seen H&M in any stores around me. I actually won this in a giveaway um, from someone. And um, yeah, I like it, I really do. I wish I knew where to purchase H&M because I would look into more colors, more shades. Okay, let's go to bronzer. And I use this Malibu Glitz and they call this Bronzer Multi. And it doesn't have a name, but it looks like this. It's like a flower powder pattern. I got this from Shop Me Save for a dollar. And I thought it would be, um, you know, shimmery. But this is it, and it's really not. It's almost, it's not matte, but it's almost like um, a satin. And it's a really pretty shade, and I really like it. I'm, I'm surprised. I didn't think I was going to like it that much, but I really, really do. And for a dollar, I think it's great. It's a really nice formula. It's smooth. And it blends really nicely. Now, if you like a totally matte bronzer, you you won't like it. But I, I just really do. I've been liking the way, you know, that satin products or even illuminating products have been making my skin look lately. I know that's crazy, right? Because I'm a full coverage matte kind of gal. But I really like this. So, since I picked that one out for this strap mustache, I thought I would pick out the matching highlighter and it's also by Malibu Blitz and this is called bronzer multi as well but there's no way this is a bronzer <laughs> so I used it as a highlighter and it is a white base with a pink shift it's very light very very light um you can't build it up much either um it's a very thin formula and um I will use it but I wouldn't recommend it it's pretty it's cute I mean I love the, the packaging of the what am I talking about? The colors in the flowers. Um, but I did not like it as much as I liked the bronzer. So, yeah. But it was a dollar as well, which I'm going to say. And so then, I thought I would pull this Milani Illuminating Face Powder. I keep this in my blush drawer. It has roses also. So, I thought I would pull that as well. And I swatched it here. And it's a peachy, shimmery peachy shade. I don't know if you're getting very good color. But... I use this as a blush topper over my Luminoso uh, by Milani that I have in my project pan. And it was wonderful as a blush topper. Very, very nice. I could not use this as a finishing powder because it's a very peachy color. Um, but it's pretty as a blush topper. And the powder I use this month is the Maybelline New York Lasting Fix in Banana. Um, and you can't even see it here. Kind of can. This is not, it did not, I was afraid it would leave a yellow cast and it didn't. It really did not. Um, it went well with my skin. Maybe a, a shade darker than I would prefer, but it's a nice powder. It's just a regular powder. I mean, nothing spectacular about it. Just a good powder. Um, if you like banana powders, I would say, yeah, try this one. The primer I used is the NYX, the Marshmallow Primer, and I just got the little small one because this stuff is expensive. But man, it smells so good. It's, it does kind of smell like marshmallows. And I put it right here. I don't know if you can tell. I think you can, but it has a like slight little sheen to it. Um, I liked it. Um, it's, you know, it's not pore filling or, or mattifying or anything like that to me, but it did leave a slight little bit of illumination, um, and it smells really good. Um, I like it. It's fine, but um, for the price, no, I don't think it's I don't think it's worth that price. So then the foundation I used is the Nude Sticks Tinted Cover Foundation, and I have Nude One. I got this in Boxy Charm. And this is it. And it is a very pinky shade. Um, it's a nice formula. It, a lot comes out when you pump it. So, you know, you need to be careful of that. But, um, I would say it's a medium coverage. Um, the color is a little dark for my liking. I mixed in some um, white um, concealer from AOA, and it lightened it up a bit. 
so I like it. I've always wanted to try nude sticks uh, products. My friend Tracy absolutely loves these um, uh, nude sticks products, and I've always wanted to try them because she talks about on her about them on her channel, the little makeup channel, a lot. Um, and I like it. I really did. Uh, I wish I, you know, I wish there was a shade lighter than that, but it's nice. And then the concealer I chose was the Pretty Vulgar Concealer. And it is the Undercover Little White Lies. And this is it. And this is a swatch of it. It's dark, a darker shade than the actual uh, foundation, if you can tell there. So, what I had to do was I used very little of it. And I used a, mixed it in with, again, that white concealer from AOA that I have. Um, I really couldn't tell you much about the formula because I had to mix so much with the shade uh, to get it light enough for my under eyes. Um, for what I can tell, it's decent. I don't think it's, um, I think it would be too drying for some people. Um, and it's not full coverage enough for my liking, which people in my age group usually don't prefer full coverage under their eyes, but I do. Um, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't repurchase again. There's a bunch of kind of duds this month in there. Okay, so eyebrow pencil. I used the Wet n Wild Brow Sessive Brow Pencil in medium brown. And it's just a sharpenable pencil. And this is it here. And it has like a green tint to it. <laughs> I, I don't understand why I keep getting these uh, brow pencils that look kind of green to me. Um, and it's a really, really stiff formula. Very, very stiff. Um, I, I don't think I would repurchase this. Um, this is like the second or third type of wet and wild brow pencil I've used. And I don't think I've enjoyed any of them that I've tried. So, yeah. No, not, not this one. Uh, the eyeliners I used, however, this is a she waterproof eye and lip pencil. These are a dollar, um, and I got these from Always May or Shop Cherry. And this is in the shade Gold, and it's a very orange gold, but it's nice. It's a, it's a sharpenable pencil. Um, I used it in my waterline. It's not the best for waterline, but it's a really pretty color, and um, it's pretty smooth once you get it started. And for a dollar, I can't complain. And then the next one I used was amazing. It is the LA Girls Shockwave Neon. This is a lip liner and it's in fiery. But I use these on my eyes. Um, I'm not telling you to do that, <laughs> but I do it. And it's this really pretty color here. It's a very blue based red, but it, it leans a little pink and it's very nice. These are the liners that stay in my waterline better than any other brand, um, these LA, LA Girl ones. So I really like this a lot. Then I used two lip products. The first one is the Pure, and it is a liquid lip, and it's in the shade. Hmm, let me get out my little magnifying glass from Dollar Tree. Fever. It's in the shade Fever. And this is a swatch. It's very moussey and it dries down like super duper fast. And it looked patchy. So I went over it with a lip gloss and then it was super messy and it just went all over my mouth. I couldn't get a clean line. Um, I did not like this. So no, that's a no. Then I used this Iman. Oh my. I gotta get out my eyeglass again. Iman Luxury Lip Shimmer. And it is in Socialite. I really like this. It smells so good. It's really pretty. It has a little bit of glitter in it. It's not sticky. It's really nice. I like it. Hang on a minute. No, it is sticky. 
yeah, I lied. It is sticky. I thought better of that. I remember I wore this to church and it was sticky. So I like the scent. I like the color. Um, I like the, I didn't mind wearing it. It didn't make those, it's not that stringy type of sticky. It's kind of like a, it kind of feels like your lips will actually stick together. It doesn't do that goopy stringy stuff. So I wore it and it was fine. Um, but I think some people wouldn't like the formula of this. But I, I will wear it. And then the last thing I used is the Maybelline Master Fix by Face Studio. And this is the setting spray. This has a nice mister. Um, it sort of has a chemical smell a little bit. And, you know, it's just kind of the. It, it didn't really do anything for me. Um, like I say, I only wear my makeup about four or five hours. So, you know, it really doesn't say a lot about a setting spray for me because, and also I'm very, very sweaty. I sweat a lot. So, you know, it's hard for a setting spray to keep up with me. So yeah, I just think there are way better setting sprays out there than that one. Well, I hate it that this was so negative. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done a more negative, uh, do I still love it? <laughs> so anyways, if you like these types of videos, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Love to all. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.